this is going to be a challenging day for me. I am a collector of books and games and I love them dearly. In my declutter process throughout my house, I've gotten rid of things I don't really care about. It's easy, I haven't done the sentimental stuff, but today you are joining me in my basement as we tackle some games and some books. <laughs> oh, Speedy, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna get rid of the books? Are we gonna get rid of the books? Are we? Not all of them, not all of them. But we're gonna try and declutter today. Magazines, games, books, it's gonna be a whole thing. It's gonna be a struggle. I hope you brought your chocolate. I'm gonna need some chocolate. If you struggle with decluttering books as well, give this video a thumbs up. <gasps> Let's get started. Now here are my bookshelves down in the basement. I feel like I've done a really nice job at decluttering a lot of them as it is. I definitely have some mess down there, but I think I could go through these and kind of like, I can't get rid of these or these or these. Oh my gosh. Okay. I could probably get rid of the lemony snicket because I don't have the whole set and Andrew's really the only one that read it mostly because I don't have the whole set. I picked these up at like a discount store forever ago. I think half price books actually, and I don't have them all. So it doesn't make sense to keep them if I don't have them all in my opinion. So there we go. I have these six books are going to be gone. That's huge progress for me. Okay. Coming down a step. <gasps> you got to keep those. Um, I have some of the Artemis Fowl books, but again, not all of them. And my kids have not seemed super into reading these. So I think I'm going to get rid of these too, which is a little sad for me. I wish they had liked them more. Um, but once again, I can pick up all of these at my library if my kids ever decide they want to read them. So if I don't have the whole set, they're going bye-bye. That's the plan. I'm still hoping one of my kids will read all of these. These are some of my favorites when I was really young. Okay, Junie B. Jones can probably go. My kids are older. I think Magic Treehouse can go. All of my kids are about done with these. They've just kind of grown out of them, you know? And once again, my library has like all 150 zillion of these. <laughs> all of those are staying. Okay, down here, I'm trying to decide if I should keep these. I've read this series twice, but my favorite of the series is actually the Infernal Devices, the prequel to this one. So I don't know if I should keep this one. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. What do you think? Keep or no? Keep or no? I think I bought all of these during the lockdown and I was looking for more books to read because I couldn't go to the library. Oh, this is another Artemis Fowl book. So that's going right there. And then, oh, I don't know. Um, these are Haley's. I think I have all of them. She did enjoy Twilight. So do I keep it? Or is it like she's done so it can go? I'm not sure. This is so hard. And I'm not done reading these yet, so those are gonna stay. Ooh, that is a dark angle. Well, you could check out all my kids left their blankets right there. I have a bunch of family photo albums in here that I wanna keep, but the Goosebumps book, I probably don't need that anymore. I only have one. I gotta ask Haley if she wants to keep mocking Jay. If your kids haven't read the Horizon books, all of my kids have loved these, all of them. So I would recommend those. They're super fun. I didn't borrow this from someone, did I? If I didn't mention before, this video is in collaboration with the Mega Motivation Group started by Dawn from The Minimal Mom, and there is an entire playlist of declutter motivation for you linked down below in the doobly-doo. So don't forget to go check that out if you would like to be inspired by a whole bunch of other ladies that are way better at declutter and organizing than I am. I'm mostly just like trying to take their tips and apply some of them into my life. We, we're making progress, like we're, we're doing it. We're doing the thing. It's just, uh, I'm just no pro, you know what I'm saying? So I'm taking a break on the books and let's talk about the games. <sighs> I cheated and I kind of already divvied up the games, <laughs> but I'm going to show you what I did. I took a bunch that were just like missing pieces and we didn't have them all and we chucked them. These right here, of course, there's like a puzzle piece that doesn't belong to anything right here. Um, 
why am I not surprised? I do have a little stack here of games that have all their pieces intact, but I am going to sell because these are games that we don't play. And let me show you the ones that we're keeping. Over here in this corner, I have all the games that we love, that we play, and that we are keeping. So we have Dominoes, Clue, Trouble, Connect Four, Ticket to Ride, Scategories, Farkle is a really frustrating game if you care too much. <laughs> Uh, Jenga, Telestration, Sequence, Gestures, if that's how you say it. I've heard gestures too. Yahtzee! Relative Insanity, uh, Phase 10. I think there's a Monopoly game up there. We play all of these very frequently, so these are all a keep because we're like, there's no way I'm getting rid of Sequence. It's one of my favorite games. But when I look over here, like I've had this little, um, this Battleship Express for uh, years, but we don't ever play it. We never ever reach for this one. I think this one was a gift. We don't play this one either. This one I thought was super confusing. And then I guess my kids just don't like Trivia Pursuit, even though it's Harry Potter. I don't know. I used to play Trivia Pursuit when I was younger, like the regular one. And then Boulder Dash. Anyway, so we're gonna take pictures of all of these and try and sell these games, maybe on the Facebook Marketplace or something like that. It never fails when I'm doing projects like this that the kids come down and they're like, mom, what's for dinner? I'm hungry. That's the case during the summer. It's like never ending. I'm hungry. When is there a snack? And for times like this, when I am otherwise occupied, it is such a convenience to have a green chef box in my refrigerator ready to go so I can feed my family a quick meal and Yes, Green Chef is sponsoring today's video, so big thank you to them, and let me show you what we are eating today, and let me tell you a little bit about them. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company, and they are a meal box kit that's delivered directly to your house. You don't even have to leave or go anywhere or wear clothes, and they give you dishes for a variety of lifestyles, which I love. So if you're looking for a vegan, vegetarian, paleo, keto, they have a meal option for you. I usually go with the keto ones because I really love their protein and vegetable choices and their sauces are so dang good. The recipes are super, super fast and easy to follow. They have step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and pictures to help you along the entire process. They offer nine recipes to pick from every week so you don't get bored of the meals that you're getting. And every time I make the Green Chef meals, my husband's like, wow, is this Green Chef? This sauce is on point. Like they're so fast to make from opening the box to sitting down at the table is always less than 30 minutes, which is really convenient for me. So let Green Chef do the meal planning, grocery shopping, and most of the prep for you week after week with my amazing discount code that they are going to give you. All you have to do is go to greenchef.us and use the code frugalfitmom100 to get $100 off plus free shipping on your first box. That will be the first link down in the doobly-doo. That's greenchef.us. Use the code FRUGALFITMOM100. Get $100 off plus free shipping on your first box. You won't regret it. Thank you, Green Chef, for hooking us up with an amazing meal. And let's get back to throwing my stuff away. Serious question. How many of you have decluttered all of your DVDs already? I lived in the transition from VHS to DVD. And I remember some of my friends, they like only bought DVDs. And the DVD players were so expensive. And I was like, wow guys, that's really expensive. And then VHS went obsolete. <laughs> and I was like, okay, that, that makes sense. And now it almost feels like with streaming services, these have gone obsolete as well. However, there are some movies that I cannot find in any streaming service at all. Therefore, I am glad I have some of these. That being said, I think it is time to take out some of them. My kids are a lot older now. There's probably some kid movies in here that I just don't need anymore. If you haven't noticed my shirt yet, it's like <laughs> one of my favorite shirts ever because I feel like it just describes me to a T. I feel like me and Garfield are very similar. And if you haven't seen the Garfield Halloween special, you absolutely should. It's one of my favorite things ever. I found it on YouTube. Candy, 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 candy. Candy, 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 Halloween. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. Do I need the Pirates of the Caribbean movies? C Caribbean? Caribbean. Why do I say it differently? I need help! I need help. <laughs> I can't do it! <laughs> With Disney Plus, do I need all of these Disney- Like, remember they were like, back out of the vault. Aladdin, again, blah blah blah. I'm trying to declutter the DVDs. Oh no. <laughs> Is it Caribbean? Caribbean. 
Potato, potato. What is it? <laughs> we have one, two, and three? Yeah. Okay. The first one's the best one. All the rest just get watered down. We can't stream them all on Disney. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, Bambi is going. Bambi is the dumbest movie ever. <laughs> Bambi is out. But what are we going to do without the uh, director's cut features? <laughs> G-Force? I don't think we've watched that. Gone. Series. Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasure. Oh my gosh. It's <laughs> gone. Can I just say Babes in Toyland is staying. It is staying. This is the best movie ever. Do I need the high school musicals? Yes. Yes. Incredibles. Yes. Frozen. Yes. Princess and the Frog. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. No. Sleep no. on it. <laughs> Sleep on it. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty's gone. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. These are Disney classics that I don't want to keep. I know. <laughs> Gone. Tangled stays. This is one of the best ones they ever made. Yeah. This is sure. fabulous. Beauty and the Beast stays. Aladdin stays. I feel like Peter Pan is an absolute jerk. Like I watch this again as an adult <laughs> and he is so mean to Wendy. Andrew. I don't know or care. Gonzo. Yeah. All the Toy Stories stay. I feel like we don't need to keep Dirty Dancing. I bought this before I got married. We do have two Despicable Me 3s. No, we don't. Wait, do we? Dang. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> I had the time of my life. I carried a watermelon. Pretty sure I brought this into the marriage. You did. Yeah. Big Fat Greek Wedding stays. Oh my gosh, Cult classic. It's fabulous. We own frequency? We own frequency. This is a problem with owning DVDs. You don't even know what you have. This stays. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Look at all these. Okay, that's in the go-go pile. So I say we get rid of Rudy. <gasps> no. I knew you could do that. Uh, I'm just kidding. Calm down. Spider-Man 3 is all ripped. Why? A Monster Calls Sigourney Weaver. Is what it? is this? We've never even seen that. Certified Fresh Rotten Tomatoes. Does that mean it's bad? Um, can I get rid of the the Veggie Tales holiday pack? No, you cannot. No, <laughs> it's going. <laughs> it's out of here. Why are you mad that I'm skipping over? Raymond stays. Yeah. Seinfeld. For now. Seinfeld goes. <gasps> are you really serious? When was the last time you watched those? It's been a long time. Like a year? Like two years? Yeah. Three years? Yeah. Four years? More. More than four years. It's probably been closer to like okay, 12. Okay, this is the workout bucket. All right, sorry, Jillian, you out. Oh, Twilight is going bye-bye. Why do I have this? I'm leaning. Uh, I love rat race. Happy feet. Happy He's feet. out of here. He's out of here. Inception. Well, I didn't realize we owned that one. I didn't either. We just streamed that one. Was that the one where? We can, get, we can get rid of that. Why do we have this? The original uh, one. This one actually wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. All right, bye. <laughs> How do we do on the movies? This is a big stack of movies. Those are all the books and those are all the games. I'm feeling like we filled an entire box to donate right here. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Now that I've done the hard part, which is trying to rip off the Band-Aid and get rid of some items, <laughs> Dave's doing the fun part of taking pictures and listing some of the things that we're getting rid of on the Facebook marketplace so we can recoup a little bit of money and save it for, I don't know, a fun day out with my kids or a birthday present or something like that. Now that I'm done with the declutter, what I really wanna do is make cookies. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna make cookies because I feel like I need a reward for everything that I just did. And if you want my cookie recipe, it's amazing. I will leave that link down below. And if you wanna try out Green Chef to make your life a little more convenient, I will have that first link down below to get $100 off. So check that down below along with the playlist of everybody else that decluttered all of the things in their house for more motivation for you. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time. Mood. I got this shirt from JCPenney, by the way. It's probably still there. <laughs>